Welcome my people and so my name is Tyler and today I'm going to show you guys how to combine and separate an object. Now this is something very basic and every modeler should know, so I decided to make a video on it. So what we're going to do first is we're going to get a cube, I'm going to enlarge that and we're going to get a second cube. So the whole point of separation combination from what I've used in my personal experience is to uh, limit the amount of extrusions you have to do in a certain object. And this also just helps with certain workflows or if you have to do like, um, you have to put circular objects on a, uh, a square surface to where you cannot um, make an extrusion like that without it being pretty complex. So uh, basically it's really simple. Uh, let me just line this up somewhat. Okay, it's close enough. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select both of them. I'm gonna shift, uh, shift right click I'm just going to go combine. So as you can see, you can either do it that way or you can just go to uh, the top bar of poly, poly modeling. And just hit that. Now, to separate the objects, all you have to do is uh, I don't believe separate is in here, so I'm just going to do shift right click. We're going to hit separate. Now, a problem with separate with um, separating a combination is that it does not reset uh, the vertices. So if I click on this, it will be completely off. So what you can do, uh, you can either hit D and move the rotation axis back into the middle, which is not a good idea just because it is incredibly inaccurate. So what you can actually do, uh, right when you separate it, it'll select everything. <clears throat> you can actually go to modify and hit center pivot. And so what this will do is it'll reset uh, the pivot. And so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys on the next video.